in this video i just want to show you guys two things that's all the new kit on the blog and the land so please pay careful attention to this video because we're going to talk really deep about my finding over here in this part of ghana but before then hey hello welcome back to my channel if you're new here hello my name is lillian but if you're a returning subscriber hi thank you so much for coming back thank you all for keeping up with me on this co series so guys today we are heading to the same place here at Flam Plains. I've done tons of videos from here. I swear down today I didn't come here to do this. You know, I told you guys about my side hustle, you know. So I I had to go film for the channel that I am doing partnership with. So I'm going there and then I, I decided to, you know, I couldn't avoid this. So I, because I've heard about a new chip that is over there, the Aflam River that is happening. A lot of people are partying over there and it is the talk of the town right now. So I said, okay, since I'm going there to film for Eagle Eye, let me take some time and, you know, I didn't want to do anything here. But as I got here, I said, okay, I cannot, I cannot, I cannot avoid, you know, filming. You can see this place here, except you're not a creative. If you're a creative, when you pass it, you can't let go. You can see this. It is absolutely beautiful. My joy is that in my next video, we are going behind these mountains. You know, I have been curious to know what's up over there, what's there, how is that place like? So I got a chance to go behind the mountains and that video will drop tomorrow by the special grace of god so stay tuned and don't go nowhere so i want to talk about the land here why are there no people living here i realized because i keep on asking the taxi men why aren't people living here or is it forbidden is the land dangerous is there anything going on or is the land under distress, you know, or, you know, a dispute land or something. They said, no, that if anybody wants to leave, they are free to leave. No problem, nothing, not an issue. It's just that you can see this is not a city like that is okay. You see a lot of people buy land. So this is not like a city. So then that got me thinking, why do we not spread our wings to this side of Ghana? For those who can afford it right now, you know, a lot of buying of land have been going on around Accra and its environment. A lot of people are paying tons of um, thousands of cities, you know, to be able to secure. In fact, I would say hundreds of thousands of cities to be able to secure just one plot of land where you can come here and get a large plot of land straight from the indigenous the chiefs of this place for almost nothing like for not even one third of what you are paying for that land in accra i mean a land like this if you can find some over there you know what you know what to expect or for those of you that experience architects um and Sovier, is this place not okay to build a house? Just asking because I don't know. I don't know a lot of these things. But when you when you come here, it's common to see settlements like this. It's just that they are few in numbers, you know. But like real buying of land and building, you know, massive houses, retirement homes, you don't get to see that. So I said, okay, let me bring it up to you. Maybe you may want to take a look at this part of Ghana and see if it will interest you okay so if it will interest you you know where this place is located is located at um at those at those dif uh, districts here at the Kwewu mountains so this place is about 30 minutes away from um Kwewu Tafo. so that is the distance from Kwewu Tafo to this place about 30 minutes um yeah did i say Kwewu Tafo? yeah to this place is 30 minutes and from this place to the aflam river is about 10 minutes drive away so that in total if you want to go to the aflam river from kweutafo is about how many minutes 35 minutes okay let's say 45 minutes which sometimes you don't you don't get to spend that much because there, there's no traffic here so i said let me bring this to you okay just in case you are interested in 
so now we're finally at what brought me to this place i want to go in there and check out the new chip that was brought here just for the easter party isn't this too much enjoyment so let's go in and see what we can find in this boat i mean in this chip this is not like a boat this is a chip a party just strictly for party and of course if you want to know where to locate them after the easter because once like the easter is over now they, they left so but if you want to know where to find them i got you i'm going to tell you where to all right so by the way have you liked this video if you have not please like the video for me okay comment down below share the video and let's keep doing this so if you want to um locate this company if you want to cruise with them they are you can find them at the volta hotel in akosombo that's another beautiful part of ghana like when they say ice cream beauty it happened it happens i mean uh, that beauty is there also at that part so for this my beautiful old chip i have showed you guys many times i've used it you know many times i've taken pictures i've done many things with the i mean the government own i've done all that but this is a private one i mean this is a private one just for the easter party so i just want to like show you guys the surrounding because already there's a video up on the channel that i'm partnering with on the interior of this boat so i mean the chip if you want to see what it looks like iguai has a video on that so for me is showing you guys um around and just talking about the land which as we are going back i still want you guys to see the land to an extent you understand so my sole reason of coming here today is i have said i won't come to this part but when i heard about the new chip that is here just for the party um i said okay ego i will be interested in that because i have done a couple of videos from here and i feel like i may just end up boring you guys because i like to discover new 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 things so i came here for ego i so as we are going back um let's take a look at the lands that are on the road you know i ask going you may say okay why don't you buy hey i don't have money to buy land right now okay um if i do honestly if once i have money to buy land i'll buy i'm not even gonna waste time i'm not even gonna waste time especially on my tomorrow video when i went to a local market and my experience as in all that i saw on the road to that place really got me you know uh, in fact this part of ghana will really interest you one thing is the the weather weather is so good the weather you see that ibri weather that everybody is dying to live in like everybody wants a piece of ibri if you come here you wouldn't be you see that money you used to pay for a land over there where there are no it's as if there are no lands again that money you used to pay for land over there you can use it to develop a land that you buy around this part of ghana i'm not saying people should not go to ibri okay i hope you understand just in case you are looking for land you know i know people that uh i know there's someone that may be looking for land right now so you may want to think about the side and another thing about living here is the business angle of it during the easter period you get to make so much money that you make even you can make money to cover you for a long period that is how it works over here the businesses here when you want to establish them especially like um, accommodation business you know you have to know or food business you just have to know that okay it's a seasonal thing it's not going to be every season okay so if you want to start establish like a hotel or airbnb this place is not bad idea at all just know that you may not really make money until during the easter period so if you ask me if you want to combine business and your own life you can build a massive place here if you can afford it keep some rooms that you'll be giving out during the easter period and you'll make so much money that will cover you for a whole year so i'm done touring that uh cheap i have finished my part over there if you want to see the exclusive how it looks like inside you can head straight to ego eye there's a video waiting there for me i want to continue my own tour you know i've been coming here for many many like this is the tour time i'm coming I'm privileged to have visited this part again this aflam river but um i didn't really use the ferry terminal you see that i realized that we africans we don't really like what the government provides for us to so, okay take this is for you 
take it. I see that there's a terminal here, but including myself, I hardly use it when I come here. I'll rather go and sit under a tree, which is dangerous to you know my life. I'll go and sit under a tree and wait for the ferry to be ready to move. Whereas the government have provided this. Now this is the entrance that we all never see. We've been here severally. I even brought some of my colleagues here. Nobody saw that. We didn't we didn't see it because we didn't use it. You see? So this place is this is what the ferry terminal ados looks like. So it looks like these. They are planted fruits over there. This season in this part of Ghana, mangoes everywhere, avocado, everything here is fresh because it rains almost all the time. And guys, it rains almost all the time. And the locals here live that life. They don't they don't experience much mosquito like we that lives in hot zone, like hot um, part of Ghana where the weather is really hot. You know I must eat, right? Yeah, food is a must, so I must eat. <laughs> and then I got food, I got tilapia, I got fufu. Yeah, I like to try my fufu different places because once I'm home, I don't get to eat fufu because I don't know how to prepare it. I don't have the mortar. Okay, I do know how to prepare it, but I'm not sure I have strength to do that. It is a long process. I'd rather buy and pay for it, eat it and go. So this is also returning back to Kweutafo so that we will go and go to have you seen my obo video guys uh, have you seen my video from obo hey have you seriously i am so proud of that video so if you have not check it out okay check it out i'm still gonna link it here somewhere so check the video out okay you absolutely gonna love it i went to a london in Kou. I went to London here so please check out that video and meanwhile tomorrow video will drop you will get to see the behind the mountain of the this place um, this Aflam River all right so thank you guys for watching this video and um, definitely you know what to do I'll see you in my next one please don't forget to join my memberships okay join my membership to support my channel anyhow you can support me to keep creating please do so okay um i'm not shy to ask for help if so creating is very expensive and really time consuming so please guys come through and always support your girl and uh, i will see you in my next one and